welcome back to the CBBC office. It's Ultimate Summer. I'm Chris Johnson. This is Dodge Dodgezilla T Dog. <sighs> Look, I ain't got time to do anything but get ready for this attack, Chris. So, you don't even have time to watch part two of my Sarah Jane adventure that might take your mind what? off Catzilla? Well, I've been waiting all morning to see this. Oh, yeah, go on, show me, show me, show me. Well, check it out! Previously on Chris's very, very important documentary, Chris was captured by Barney and Clyde, who thought he was an alien. OK, let's release him. Get to the bottom of this little mystery. Well, you say little. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Did you have to use a dirty sock? Oh, wait, before you say anything, we need to ask you a few questions. Why are you looking for Sarah Jane? Why wouldn't I want to meet her? She's a legend. Oh, the way she dealt with General Kood, like, that was impressive. I've never been near a laser tag since, seriously. Oh, for all we know, you could be working for someone. The Big Big Cheese? Cheese? What? The Big Big Cheese? CBBC office boss? Oh, she's really nice. Great, masterful leader. She is kind. She lets me have at least one sugar in my food. Do you ever shut up? <laughs> Look, I'm not a bad guy, OK? I just know how you guys work. That's what we're worried about. But I'm not bad. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not a lean. I mean, I don't wear other people's bodies. I love vinegar. And I've never even been to Raxacora Cephalopatorius. Or Clom. It worries me how much he actually knows. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Clyde, nice top. I like it, yeah. You do illustrations, don't you? Like comic book stuff. I do that as well, but yours is really cool. I'd love to have on like a t-shirt. That'd look awesome. Oh, thanks, Chris. I've got some in my bag. I'll, I'll show you. Oh, sweet. Uh, hey, is this not a little bit suspicious? Well, he seems like a reasonable guy and, you know, he's, he's got great taste in art. Mm. So, how can I help? Well, we're all in grave danger. Grave danger? Grave danger. In grave danger? Will Chris stop screaming? Find out next time! Yeah. Oh, Chris, you can't end it there. Show me some more, come on. No, you got to wait till tomorrow well, like everyone else. Well, I can't wait that long. I need to watch it now. I can't stand the tension, Chris. Oh, come on. You're just, you're just worked up about Catzilla, that's all. I'm ready for him. <laughs> oh, another text message from Ricky from Newsround, because he's all intelligent, because he's on Newsround and that. Let's have a look. Oh, he says he knows how you can survive the attack from Catzilla. Yeah, what? apparently... It never attacks its own kind. So if you dress up like a cat, you'll be fine. It'll leave you alone. What, well, I have to dress up like a cat? It's the only way you're going to survive. I ain't doing that. <coughs> no! <laughs> I can't believe he's falling for this. <laughs> it's Tracy Beak Returns. <laughs> what a plum. Welcome back to the CBBC office with me, Chris Johnson, and Dodge the Cat. <laughs> oh, leave it out, mate. No, I'm here, I'm ready to face cats in yeah, I can see that. Hey, I don't think saving CBBC from a giant monster is very funny, Christopher. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no, you're right. It's not funny, it's not funny. <clears throat> so, um, how are you going to defeat Catzilla then? Eh? Well, look, I'm dressed, right? Yeah, yeah, so I'll be able to sneak up on him. Yeah, sneak up on Catzilla and destroy him! Yes, thank you. That's, That's all well and good, mate, but have you, practiced, have you practiced your meow? No, I haven't. I am not meowing. You'll be able to tell that you're a dog dressed as a cat if you don't meow. What? In this costume? No! Yes, what? he no, will! No, I'm not meowing. Come on, meow. Practice. <sighs> Makes perfect. <laughs> Sorry, what, 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 what was that? Sorry? Meow, meow, meow. No, no, I, I don't think I heard you there, Dodge. You have to uh, meow. go up a bit there. Give, give, give it a meow, go. Meow. Give it a go. Give it a go. Give it a go. Give me one great big meow. Meow. One great big meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to do any of that. What? Or any of this. What? <laughs> There's no Catzilla. You what? what? You mean I'm dressed like this for no reason at all? What? Why am I meowing like an idiot? <laughs> for no reason at all. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll get you for this, Johnson. Oh, get this costume off me. Oh. Tell you what, let's watch Horrible Histories and forget all about it, yeah? <sighs> let's watch some Horrible Histories, enjoy that, and... Uh, what? What? Um... <laughs> I think I've attracted some friends. <laughs> Joe! Get, get out! Get, go on! Get, get. Here's all the histories. Well, get out! Oh, get out of here! <laughs> CBDC! 
Welcome back to the CBBC office with Chris and Dodgezilla. Uh, uh, no, 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 it's just Dodge from now on. Just Dodge. No more Dodgezilla, no more stamping on towns and things. So no more, no more sort of monster stuff, anything of that, no? No cats. No cats. Okay, okay. well, moving on from that, it's time for today's Ultimate Challenge. Yeah. Now, if you're watching Ian and this little fella yesterday, you'll have seen him stacking books on his head and seeing how many he could get in ten yeah. seconds. Yeah, and Chris, now I am the official referee of this game. Because I'm here with you in the AMs and I'm here with him in the PMs. Oh, who'd you I'm like the best? Boss. What? Who'd you like best? Yeah. I'm not gonna get out of you, am I? No. Here we go, here's how Ian did. <laughs> Ultimate <laughs> Challenge! Challenge, challenge. I said challenge. Oh. That's on me, Eddie. Are you having a lol? <laughs> oh, it's lucky you got a flat head here, isn't it? Two. It's that oh. stylish hairdo. Three. I'll get it balance and balance! Four. He's doing well. <gasps> Five. Ultimate <laughs> challenge. 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 I said challenge. Okay, my eagle managed to keep up five wee bookies, didn't it, lad? Aye, man. My moon face will be able to keep up much more than that, though. <laughs> Quite impressive. So I'm going to have 10 seconds on the clock, see if I can top that. It's a tough score to beat. We've got some jaunty cowboy music, and I'll begin when Dodge says, Yee haw! Yee haw! That's it. Put them on your moon face. On hey, the pretend they're Doctor Who books. Oh, it's helping, actually. Oh, 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 Chris in. <gasps> oh! I don't know if that counts. Yeah, oh, how many? That's, I think that's none. That was six books. But it's not on the felt for the clack, so I lost you that idiot. one. Don't Fair juice to Ian. Come, you come idiot. here. Oh dear, we nearly leveled Peg in. See you tomorrow, guys. Oh dear. <laughs> His body's like in America.